Hey royalty, hey I'm Bruce, hey I'm Bridges. How y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Taurus, Summer Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first. I'm here on YouTube page and Instagram page and Instagram. Only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day, week, and month. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe, all days away. And I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Taurus. And anybody sending any negative energy in this reading towards me or Taurus, maybe return back to Sunday a thousand fold. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors. Ooh, Spirit, God to the highest white light. Please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Oh, Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers have picked on this video today. What are the messages today for Taurus? Taurus, this is so beautiful. I don't want to take this one, though. Okay, so these messages are clear. So usually I read them differently, but the way I just got it right now, uh, let's go. Somebody here doesn't want you to break generational curses. They don't want you to heal. They want it to come out and reverse you a curse breaker, a chain breaker, okay? That ass, a chain snatcher, I wanted to say. You snatch chains off your lineage and you create blessed bloodlines. You create blessings in your lineage. It's like the things that you are breaking in this lifetime, your children, the people after you that come after you aren't going to have to go through the same things. You are, the, you are the black sheep of your lineage. You are the chosen one. You are the person that's for that. Your ancestors knew was the strongest, the most skilled, the most equipped to be able to get the job done in the lineage. God chose you. So did your ancestors and your spirit guides and your, and your team. And there's somebody that sees this. They want control over you because they want to be God in your life. This is my God card with the eyes. God is always in control. This could be someone that wants you to battle with them. So spirits like choose your battles because you know that somebody or you may feel intuitively like somebody is trying to stop you from breaking certain chains or from literally just healing, healing your heart, healing your mind, healing your body, healing your soul, healing your lineage. Somebody wants to stop this. OK, I said on because I see here you or someone around you is manifesting, coming together into union with their divine person. This is the love of a lifetime. This is the gem energy, that fairy tale energy. OK, either you could have been in a connection with someone where there could have been a lot of things that happened, a lot of trauma, a lot of ups and downs that may have taken place. You could be manifesting coming together with this person, or they could be manifesting coming together with you. But nonetheless, the love there is real. It's strong. It's divine. There's always ups and downs. Nothing is just all good. Nothing is just all bad. Okay? How do you know good times if you don't know bad times? How do you know bad times if you don't know good times? So it's something around this. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because there's an oyster. There's a gem here. There's a pearl here. Pearls are created in oysters, and oysters create pearls when they go through trauma, okay? When there's foreign substances that come inside, they, they go through trauma. That's how the pearl is actually created, and pearls are what beautiful gems that we want to wear that is lavish jewelry, you know? They're really expensive, okay? It's like buying a Chanel bag. It's really expensive to buy genuine, real pearls, all right? I'm seeing this here, too. Something is one of a kind. Something is, like, not able to be replaced. No one here is replaceable, but there's a connection in your life that either you or someone thought that they could like stop or break or replace, and it can't be. And you are manifesting or they are. I definitely see you in a powerhouse energy. You manifest in the life that you want for yourself, okay? And it's coming in. January could be significant. The number one could be significant. You're definitely coming together in union with someone. This could be around February. This could be around the second of, of any type of month, of any month. The number two is here. This is balance, duality, peace, harmony, a divine connection. That's the number two. Okay, the number 17, breaking down to an eight, harmony. Divinity is coming into union. Okay, August could be significant. 17, the number 71 is here. Okay, what else does Taurus need to know? Okay, there is someone that's jealous of you, Taurus, and they don't want you to break chains. And this is your spirit guys talking right now. Because they said, let's get it, okay? The spirit guides are like, somebody is jealous, they're a hater, they're envious, they're a liar, they're a manipulator, okay? This could be a karmic air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, stay away from this person, Taurus, okay? You need to spiritually cleanse your energy, your space, your aura, get back into union and harmony. You could even be needed to wear protection jewelry. But your spirit guides are trying to give you the courage that you need to tap in, okay? To move away, to move forward, to elevate, okay? To protect yourself, to give you the power that you need. Okay, the strength that you need because you're meant to be really, really lucky. Okay, and there's someone that wants to keep you on a karmic path. You could be on a karmic path right now and spirits trying to move you away from this karmic path. You could be embracing this karmic path or there's someone that's on this karmic path or someone that wants to keep you on a karmic path because they benefit off of your lucky energy. 
And this also pulls you away from your blessings. It keeps you away from the manifestations that are meant to be really grand in this lifetime. God is about to give you blessings at a table where your enemies are. Okay, whether you want these people to be there or not, God is not about to do that. He's not about to bless the devil. He's not about to bless demons. You could be wanting a key to something new, a car, a crib, something is getting ready to come in for you, but it's about making the right choices to grow, to get off the, the constant spiral or turn of events or chapter or repetitive chapter, whatever this is that's repetitive. It's a cycle. It's a karmic path that they are trying to get you to break. And they come out every week, Taurus, okay, because you're meant to be really fortunate. The number 13 is here, the number 31, the number 47, 74, the number 80, the number 8, 32, 23, the number 50, the number 5, the number 28, the number 82, 10 could be significant, October, May could be significant, 5 could be significant, 5, 5 could be significant, the number 4, um, 4 could be significant, April, the number 13, okay, the number 11 could be significant, November, and also August this year. Any of these dates or months of anyone could be significant to you. What else does Taurus need to know about what's going on? Where are we at? Okay. This came out in the reverse. So someone does not want you to stay focused, Taurus. They don't want you to remember why you started. They don't want you to stay focused. They don't. Okay. This could be someone that you need to block. Okay. There needs to be no. My bad, Taurus. I had to do something real quick. So, yeah. There's no action being done. You cut somebody off, and now you will be resting and rejuvenating your energy. But spirits, like, if you do this, you go silent, ghost, you're going to feel much better, okay? You're also going to attract in real love, okay? That unconditional love that you could be craving, that you could be yearning for, that you could be wanting to happen or manifest, and it's real. Yeah, but you got a drama queen that's in your energy, male or female, whoever this is. This is the person that's trying to stop you from breaking these curses off your bloodline. This is someone that knows that you're a speaker or a messenger, or they know that you hold some type of truth or clarity. Okay, I'm seeing this here too. Yeah, the Ten of Cups is here. This prayer that you want, you are really, you could be someone who's really religious or really spiritual. Or this prayer that you want is coming. It's meant to happen for you. The Ten of Cups to the star, my goodness. You're meant to have a very blessed or famous blood. Like, you're meant to be famous. And your family, your kids, everybody's meant to be known too with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're meant to mirror somebody or you're mirroring someone at this time. Okay, this is also you beginning to realize who you are. What is the star in the Ten of Cups? This is like blessed bloodline energy. Really, really blessed bloodline energy. Right now, they want you to focus on being by yourself because you're gaining the answers while you're, while you're in a place of solitude. Yeah, no more time. Like, it's like, this is it's time for this to happen. Okay, it's divine timing for this to happen. Yeah, it's time for you to have this rebirth. Scorpio energy, okay, a fake and faulty foundation is collapsing so that you can create this blessed bloodline for us. That's just what it is. You're going to have an unexplainable pull to someone. Okay, this could be you moving forward with a cancer or a fire sign. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But this is positive for a movement. This is positive changes for you, divine feminine. Okay, real talk. You can have water, highly aspected, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, as well as Taurus and Libra. You're also being led to cleanse, okay, your energy, your space, your aura. And also, this needs to be happening today, okay? You could have been dealing with something that has to do with, like, a legal matter or a court situation. Or you could have been dealing with a legal situation, okay, as well. This could be happening in the present moment where paperwork has to be filed, okay? But once this is done, it's truly done. It's some type of completion or lesson that you are learning. And it could have been a lesson that has to do with, like, legal legalities. Like, something could have gotten to the point where God was like, okay, I'm going to allow this to happen because I know if it goes this far, Tor is going to leave. Tor is going to leave this alone. Like, something like that. I got to push it to the limit. And it may have to affect this or this. And I know Taurus ain't going to be happy. But I know if Taurus gets involved with this or this happens, it's going to make Taurus's ass move. Okay? Something like that. <laughs> Right, because you're really methodical. You're really into being patient and wanting things to grow, seeing the potential of things, even though you know it's something that you shouldn't trust. Nine of Wands. It's something like that. Like, you know something ain't trustworthy. You know something is something that you should be moving away from, or it's not in alignment. Okay? This is also you, like, really questioning or really reflecting over some type of new start that you may want, but it's coming. The Ace of Wands is new start, new intimacy, new adventure, new love life. Okay? spontaneity, having more fun, okay, exotic food, like, you know, exotic traveling, 
doing something with your wardrobe or your body or your eating habits, yeah, you a boss, all right? Male or female coming out as the emperor. All right, Tori, you the biggest. I right, now, you making these quick moves too to focus more on work or your money or your structure, or your foundation. You could be a leader or a visionary. You a boss. You make these power moves. You could be someone that's in a place of high ranking position or society, male or female. You could be a business owner, a CEO. You may build an empire. You could have an empire. You could help other people become bosses. You may employ other people underneath you, okay, with the emperor energy. But this is like the biggest, okay? This is also you being able to like really manifest like the life that you want with this onk energy. You doing it with someone else. Or you being able to choose, like choose who you want to build with, choose who you want to create life with. You also know how to think on your feet really well, okay? Yeah, the Eight of Swords is here. So there could be a father figure that's stressed out. You could be stressed out over a boss, a father, a child's father. This could be a boss, a father, or like a child's father that's stressed out over you. I'm seeing this here too. <clears throat> this is also giving me people are stressed out because of some type of position or high ranking position in society or just high ranking position that you were in at this time. It's bringing people to a place of being really stressed out. Okay, what else does Taurus need to know? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> this is a painful ending of a trail taking place. What's the Emperor about? This is you meaning business, okay? Things happening the way that they're supposed to. You also are being really methodical. I don't want to say like really cutthroat, but you not with the shit. In regards to people that want to talk to you or want to show you love, it's like you're really analytical now in regards to people that are trying to play on your intelligence, trying to play on your position in society, trying to play on your childhood wounds, the things that you have healed from. You're really analytical about this. This could also be someone wanting to talk to you, Taurus. If you were a man, there could be an air sign that wants to talk to you. This could be a conversation. This could be a government official, <clears throat> a lawyer, someone who's like really militant. You could be really militant. Or this is someone that, this, this could be a man-to-man -man conversation. Or really two headstrong people that want to talk to you. If you were a woman, Taurus, you could have someone that's really, really headstrong. This could be a masculine or a feminine, but they want to talk to you. What's this about, though? The page of cups. It's a conversation, okay, about how everything is working out for you. Okay, so somebody wants to talk to you. They could have, like, doubted you or shortchanged you. This is also, like, giving you your props. I don't mean to say it this way, but somebody has been watching you. And they're in sadness or regret because you're still creating some type of, like, really, really abundant life for yourself. This is someone wanting to give you your props, wanting to apologize, wanting to say, like, yo, you did the damn thing. Even though, like, intuitively you may know that this person doubted you or wished against you. What's the King of Swords? Yeah, there's too many cards, little spirit. But someone here, yeah, they. this is also an energy that is trying to be clear because they got some type of reading done. Or you could be a reader or just really respect spiritual or religious somebody here knows that you embody real love now you want authentic love genuine connections you're getting fueled or poured into by god by up above you're not with the superficial crap anymore and that's why this person wants to work with you because they see that with you they get their blessings because you're getting your blessings you're sitting up pretty or handsome and you're doing it by yourself this is also you gaining more than enough you have a lot of like achievements rewards accolades manifestations that could have came in blessings Okay, material harvest, it's like different things that you could be able to buy or different things that God is making sure that people can see so that they they know you blessed, okay? It's like this person's ploy is to get on your same page with you, to try to really love you down or try to really pour it on thick in regards to love so that you could want to build with them so that they can get certain manifestations from you. This could have been someone that you let go before because things didn't work out, okay? Talking about you, empress or emperor, this could have been someone that... You needed to surrender or let go because it was a rejection energy. Either this person wasn't interested in you before or you weren't buying what they were selling before and now they're trying to come towards you with different type of wordplay. What's the Ace of Cups about? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> this person got a reading done. They find out you're going to fall in love, okay? You're supposed to have a child or a family. Okay, or there's going to be a deep soulmate connection that you may have with a fire sign. Okay, talking about you, Taurus, with the Queen of Wands. Okay, yeah, the Four of Wands. Somebody that you're supposed to be in a connection, a partnership with, or collaboration with, and it's supposed to be a lot of success, positive forward movement, the chariot. Somebody has been studying you, or studying this person, or studying this, and they're like, how can I reach out to Taurus? How can I reach out to you? But this, whoever this is that you're meant to collaborate with is a counterpart. 
And whoever this energy is, this king of swords, it could be an air sign, this could be a male or a feminine. They don't have your best interest in heart. So what's what's the king of swords real like? What's their real interest in regards to swords? They want you to juggle your money. They want they want it to be uneasiness in regards to you creating this legacy. What what's the uneasiness about the two of pentacles? They want to cause some type of strict. Yeah, they want their they it's, it's something about this person's not happy with like you being in a relationship or being married or or being like taken care of. They want you just to be like taken from you or held back from this. Or they feel like if you are helping somebody else, you're not able to help them. Or they're not able to eat off you in a way that they was before because of this Queen of Wands energy that you could be with or could be wanting to be with, but this is a counterpart, male or female. It's just the embodiment. I could be talking to a woman source and this is a man that is coming out. Or this could be, I could be talking to a man source and this is a woman that's coming out. So it can have a resonance. It's just the energy. Okay? <clears throat> but whoever this King of Swords is has plans on trying to block some type of divine connection that you're meant to be in that's going to catapult you with your money, put you on the next level with, but to becoming a wife, a husband or a parent for someone here, or really just attracting in that same energy that you naturally embody. Somebody here does not want this to happen because they feel like with you, it's like they want you to juggle this, this inheritance, this money, this empire, this business, this legacy that you're meant to build, this money. Like, it's a lot of money. Somebody here feels like it's supposed to be you and them. This could be someone that's in love with you and you could have, like, distanced yourself from this person. This could be someone that's, like, you could be like easily talking to again, like it's taking your time to talk them to again, but their plan is to get you to like view them as someone that is trustworthy so that they can give you some type of advisement on this actual love that's meant to come in. This could be someone that's in love with you on the on the low swords. If this isn't same sex, this could be like a friend, this could be a family member, even with the King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles wanting to pop out. What's the Page of Cups about? Contemplation. Okay, deep, deep, deep contemplation about how to get you to give to them. Okay, six of pentacles. Spirits, like, move on from this. Six of swords, move away from this. This could be a lot on your mental, a lot on your body, like, a lot. God is about to really blow this up, like, whatever this is. What's the eight of swords? This could have been a lot of stress on you as well. You breaking free or you freeing yourself. The fool card, Aquarius energy, Aries energy is here. You freeing yourself from some type of depression or sadness or restricting situation where there could have been abuse or scandal or depression energy with the sun. This is egotistical. This is prideful. This is narcissism. Okay. This is a lack of faith, a lack of harmony, a lack of healing, a lack of love. The sun is complete and reverses complete depression energy. You could really be having like somebody was trying to attack your mental source. If this isn't someone around you, somebody was really trying to make you depressed and you broke free from this shit. The Queen of Cups, the King of Cups already showed itself. This is a this was about a lo your love, how you love, who you love, your intuition, your psychic abilities, your capability to love, you embracing love, and you healing from past traumas around love to be able to know who to love, how to love now moving forward. The Sun is about strength, and sh I'm I'm sorry, the strength card is about inner strength, willpower. Okay, that means to like tap into self to overcome tough, difficult situations. It's something about you or seeing past delusions at this time, and now you have nothing but good karma coming your way. You freed yourself from the devil. Okay? And this is what you are manifesting. New starts, new beginnings, new energy, and a lot of money that's coming your way. Okay? Congratulations, Taurus. It seems like this was a major fight. This was like a fight for your soul in different ways for someone here. Like somebody was like, ooh, this was a major fight. This feels like it was a fight and a battle, and God is about to reward you double time because you ended something that needed to end with a very promiscuous, foul, wicked type of energy. I'm just being for real, Ace of Swords. You ended that shit, Taurus, okay? You left somebody out in the cold, they asked his grass. You walked away, and now you're heading towards your divinity, and it's going to bring in a lot of success with the Six of Wands. Public recognition, attention, rewards. God is going to be upstairs clapping for you. Your, your angels are upstairs clapping for you, okay? You are the chosen one. That was the first thing I said. Wow, y'all. You could be needing to go to your hometown or your family town or visit your family. Okay, if you know what somebody was really doing to you behind your back, you would whoop this person's ass if you found out. Because it's someone that you trust. You are sunlight towards. Okay, this could be in regards to a cancer that's around you because you're meant to be a millionaire or billionaire. Do not join the dark side. Okay, like, yes. I'm being for real. Somebody here also wants you to beef on the internet. Or they're beefing with you on the internet. 
This is people that want you to stay around or stay around them because they're manipulating you. Some of you can have a lot of followers and dollars, but that does not make them divine. Anything else that Taurus needs to know? Your ex only wants to come back because they are receiving karma, Taurus. Okay? Not because it's real love. Not because they miss you. This could be a friend, a lover, a confidant, a family member. Be very mindful of this King of Swords. It don't even have to be an air sign. This could just be someone that is embodying a very analytical, like, they, they're trying to use intelligence to outsmart you in this dynamic because they already know as the emperor, you already embody, or the empress, you already embody all of their energy, all the kings, all the queens. You a powerhouse. So this person's like, how can I get in this person's mind? How can I get Taurus? How can I take over Taurus's mind again? Okay, they can't. You are a fiend. You can have Scorpio highly aspect, or you can be connecting to a Scorpio. There's a new phase in your life. There's a rekindling that's taking place. This is a renewal. This is deep growth. This is you changing your mind and you rising from the ashes. Real talk. Yeah, you're not trying to talk to somebody. Coffee cup came out in the reverse. No more meeting. No more talking. No more favor in the moment. No more feeling elevated with this person. There's no more letting this person diminish you. Okay? No more trying to build a connection or build a partnership that you know ain't it. Yeah, it's time to make healthy choices. Self-love and self-care. Being happier and feeling really fulfilled in your love life. Okay? There could also be a focal point around you wanting unconditional love. Okay, giving and receiving love, fairness around love, and also affection being returned back to you. Okay, where the love is unconditional and not conditional based on what somebody has to do or based on what they have. Because that shit is fake and phony and fraud. And who wants that? Okay, what else does Taurus need to know? We are about to be winning, Taurus. Congratulations, Taurus. You have a new house, a new car, traveling for you. Career, new career that's coming in, new job, new money, and real love. You're building a soul contract with someone. The letter E could be significant. Someone's asking why or the letter Y could be significant. Okay, you have your 555. Five, five. Major life changes are on the way. It's time for you to embrace the new and let go of the old. Whoever this is is trying to spy on you. Have you so your social media. It could be a Leo. Okay, a, a Virgo. Water sign placements is here as well. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is here. Your ex is trying to do this. Okay, they're asking why the letter V could be significant as well. Your angels and your ancestors, they are pissed off about what's going on, Taurus. Okay, because you're meant to go towards your twin flame at this time. The letter S could be significant. The letter Q could be significant. Something could be taking place in the winter time. The letter W could be significant as well. Okay, you're about to be all-inclusive in a relationship. Okay, someone's mother is involved, but this could be around a mother figure, or you could be a mother or a father figure. You also have true love and marriage that's coming towards you and a blessing of wealth. Okay, this could also be in regards to a Gemini. Okay, Aries is also in your energy. Okay, the letter J could be significant as well. This is a third-party situation that you need to let go of or remove yourself from or you have. Okay, the letter B could be significant, mother and father figure. This power couple dynamic that's coming or This could be two parents, okay, a couple that tried to come up against you. Okay, like parents. Aries energy is here. You could have said no, okay. Somebody here wanted to like take you off your A-game because you are God's warrior. The letter G could be significant. Something could be happening on Wednesday. Something happened yesterday or on Wednesday. Your spirit guides and your ancestors and your angels are protecting you. The letter Z could also be significant as well. Anything else that story things to know? Okay, yeah, somebody's trying to surprise pop up on you, Taurus. I'm also seeing here, they're doing love spells to get you to be attracted to them or want to embrace them. 48 hours could be significant. Listen and trust your intuition, Taurus. That's God in you, okay? Return to send the time sent. This could be in regards to someone that has braids and dreads. You could expect communication in one week, okay? Something happened two months ago with the Sagittarius. I'm seeing this here, too. The tables are now turning, okay? Things could also be happening around the full moon, okay? Yeah, you are the one, and someone knows that they're about to lose you for good. It's a karmic Leo that you could be needing to stay away from as well. You have a lot of heavenly, angelic, and spiritual protection over your life. 444 is here. Okay, all blockages have been removed, especially because there was a copycat that was in your energy trying to be you. Act like you. Take your blessings. Yeah, you will overcome this. You also have a lot of clarity that's coming towards you because you're going towards your destiny. Okay, so congratulations, Taurus. Congratulations. Okay, who's helping, Taurus? Who's helping Taurus? Okay, Jesus. Hey, big bro. The big bro is helping you. You already know the deal. 
big bro is here. This is about forgiveness. This is about compassion. This is about being a spiritual teacher. Archangel Raphael is here to help you with your intuition and your health and healing. Okay, you got powerhouse people here. All right now. Okay, goddess Isis is here too. This is about resurrection, magic, and fertility. Somebody here also trying to do magic on your fertility or on your womb or on your, sec your sacral chakra, your sexual energy. Oh my goodness, Taurus. You have a lot of protection around all of this. It was a lot going on around your energy, your bloodline, your lineage, people trying to keep you stuck sexually, energetically. Oh my goodness. Taurus. Okay. Holy Spirit Angels. What do they need for the Taurus people though? Now that was a book that just flew out. There was religious differences here too. Okay, your love life is most definitely being influenced by the path that you are on at this time. You could be needing to trust in the new energy that's coming in or just trusting yourself. Okay, whoever this person is is going to want to flirt with you too. Okay, they want you to explore the lighthearted energy that you naturally hold. Let your friends help you, okay, in regards to this separation that could be taking place because there is definitely a time apart that's getting ready to happen. Okay, so that you can give a true relationship a chance. And when you and this person come together, y'all going to be spending time alone. Okay, you also could be needing to retreat so that you can get your mind back into alignment. Children may be involved, okay, or you're meant to have a blessed divine child with someone I'm seeing here. And it's not with this person doing love spells on you either, okay? No. There also could be some type of financial issues or differences or career issues that could be going on that are also affecting your love life. I'm seeing this here too. What's the advice for Taurus? Mountain of mastery. It's time to ascend towards self-realization and triumph. Guided by the, the stoic presence of the mastery mountain pathway, peaks reach. Celebrate your achievement and savor the, savor the triumph of your ascent. For you've climbed high and you've earned your view. I know that's right, y'all. I know that's right. That's like Father God taking you all the way up to the top. I right, now. Penthouse level. All right? The, the top of the peak level. Top of the mountain level. I right, now. With the top of the cliff level. I right, now. Okay, you sitting up on that greenery. All right, whatever you're doing, you got a beautiful view while you're doing it. I give it to you for it. Hat off to you. Congratulations. Because I know up above is clapping for you. Because I'm clapping for it. I know it. I feel it. All right, let's wrap this up. <laughs> let's wrap this up, y'all. Um, Holy Spirit, what's the advice for Taurus? This is a beautiful reading, Taurus. Like, I kind of don't even want to jump out of your energy. It's so good. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Since, like, channeling for y'all today was amazing, okay? My big vision is the sum of the small steps I take each day. I know that's right, Taurus. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be with you always. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.